I use Bill Jack treats because they're made of real chicken and real chicken liver, making them very tasty for your dog. It is so much easier to train your dog when your dog likes to taste the treat. It really gets your dog's attention and your dog is more motivated to complete the skill in order to get the reward. Right. Here's a great tip on building a lasting relationship with your cat. You know, when many people adopt a cat from an animal shelter like this one, a lot of times they expect too much too soon. What I tell people is take the first 30 days and develop a great relationship using three phases. Phase number one is getting to know your cat. Phase number two is developing a relationship. And phase number three is building the trust. Once you have the trust, you can then train your cat and then you can uh, work with your cat on anything you want to do as far as you know litter box training and so on and so forth. But uh, the most important thing is not to expect too much too soon. Okay, we're here with Steve Behrens, and we're here at Animals of Distinction, and this is Tuesday. It's Tuesday actually works with Steve, and she's going to be helping us out today. And we're going to be talking today about training complex behaviors with cats and, you know, kind of chaining behaviors, right? Yeah, absolutely. And uh, what are we going to do today? What do we do? Well, we're going to have Tuesday bring out a cat that she's worked with. His name is Taj, uh -huh. and he's going to go through, he's going to get up here, he's going to sit, he's going to come down, hit a mark, he's going to jump up onto the table, lie down. Then he's going to jump down, retrieve something, back up onto the table and put that into the little pan. How old's Taj? Taj, I say, would be about four years old now. He's a beautiful, this is a beautiful uh, orange tabby. I mean, big head. This guy is just an awesome, awesome looking cat. And does he work a lot or? He's, he's starting to. He's done a few things. Mm -hmm. he's, he did uh, paranormal activity this summer. Mm -hmm. uh, I, th I believe it was the fourth one or fifth one they've done. They've done so many now. Mm -hmm. And uh, getting some commercials here and there. I think he did an IMS commercial, and uh, so he's getting out there and working a little bit more. The behavior we're talking about this week is the mark. Stay. Good. There we go. He just hit it. Great. Now she's going to take him up onto the table and show you how this started with a little bigger mark. Mm -hmm. It's not quite as easy, the small one, but if we start with something a little bit bigger. So the parameters are the cat has to put one foot on the mark, two feet on the mark? I like two feet on the mark. Mm -hmm. You'll see a lot of people will do one. Uh, I don't particularly like that because you'll a lot of times see the animal come up and then reach over with one foot. Mm -hmm. It looks very unnatural. Uh -huh. So we, I like to concentrate on both feet going on to the mark, mm -hmm. and and generally looks more natural that This is that a good. Way. This is a good time to talk a little bit about the clicker. A lot of the folks that are watching the show are listening to the clicker, and what is what is the clicker to the cat? The clicker to the cat is, is just a bridge. It's uh -huh. as if I said good mm -hmm. to a dog. Uh, cats do not understand words that, at the same level dogs do. Mm -hmm. So a stark sound like that, which in essence when that's hit is followed by food, to mm -hmm. them means when I hear that sound, I'm getting food and right, what was I doing right when I heard that sound? That's mm -hmm. what I did right. Right. They get a little excited and sometimes they go past that mark mm -hmm. as well. And I think it's important for everybody to understand, like when they're, as, as, as they're watching Tuesday here, that you know, she you know, selectively reinforces or selectively rewards the cat when the cat's two feet are on that you know, mark. And when that one cat is, the foot is off the mark, she's not, she's not gonna reward the cat. She's just waiting for those two, cat, those two feet to be on there. And the cat starts registering, right? And put it together and say, okay, Absolutely. Right, both feet are on there, I'm, I'm rewarded for it. Absolutely, when we're starting a behavior, we're generally bridging everything that's close. Mm -hmm. As we move along, we're getting more selective mm -hmm. because now we want them to, to really uh, be aware that we want this perfect, we want this right. And that's how we build these behaviors. That's how we shape the better behavior. Right, and now once he's cool with that, with that mark, then we go to something the smaller like this one, correct? We might take this mark and actually put it on top of that mark. Mm -hmm. Oh, I to see. To begin with, we might do something like that. Mm -hmm. We might make that mark, we might just cut that mark down in size and work our way down. And now he puts both feet on so it. It was really interesting, you put both feet on there, I mean, right mm -hmm. on that mark. That was... and, and, and that's the thing about training, there's a lot of different ways to do things. You know, I tell people and... all the time, it's like, you know, the best animal trainers I've ever been around are the ones that are the most creative, and the ones that are very, very yeah. creative and, um, you know. Yeah, you'll see, you'll see a lot of young trainers and they'll develop some techniques and they'll never adjust to the different animals. Mm -hmm. And really that's, the more advanced trainers, that's what they start to learn is that not every technique is going to work for every animal. Sometimes mm -hmm. you've got, this particular cat is a very strong cat, kind of headstrong. Uh, 
you might be a little bit uh, more pushy with him because he can take it. Mm -hmm. But uh, a cat that's a real sensitive, shy cat, if you're pushy with him, you're going to turn him off. He's right. not going to enjoy it. So you've got to adjust your, your attitude and, and the different behaviors, uh, the way you train your behavior. Exactly, exactly. Well, this is great. This is excellent. So we'll just let him go one more time here. That's great. Both feet are on that mark, and we'll reward him. That was awesome. Steve, thanks a lot for coming on. Mm -hmm.